I am Anil Kumar and in these set of videos we are going to explore when and how to apply logarithmic differentiation. Before I get into this let me give you the formulas which we have learned about derivatives of exponential and logarithmic equations. Let us say we have function y equals to e to the power of x then the derivative y dash is the same function e to the power of x. If you have a function y equals to ln x, in that case the derivative is 1 over x, right? And if you have function y equals to b, where b is a constant to the power of x, in that case the derivative is b to the power of x times ln b, right? So that is the derivative. And if you have a function y equals to log to the base bx, then the derivative is equal to 1 over x ln b, right? So these are the formulas which we have learned so far. Now in this video, we'll kind of explore when to apply logarithmic differentiation. Let me also discuss with you power rule. Sometimes the students get confused. Uh, let us say if I have a function, uh, let's say we have to find derivative for, uh, let's say, a to the power of b, right? Where, where a and b are constants. Then, what result are you going to get? This is kind of an example, like you want to find derivative of, uh, let's say, uh, 2 to the power of pi, right? As you can see, 2 and pi, both are constants. Derivative for a constant will always be 0, right? So here, we do not apply any of these logarithmic rules. We know derivative of a constant is 0. And that's what you get, right? Now let me take another example which uh, relates to, and here uh, we have an exponent and a base and both are constant, right? If I change the situation and if I make one of them as a function or a variable, in that case we may have a situation uh, where it could be, let us say, x to the power of 3, right? x cubed. Now, in this case, x is a variable, 3 is a constant. So, the derivative of this, as you know, we can apply the power rule. And the derivative will be 3, x to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 2, right? So, here also, we do not apply logarithmic differentiation. There is no need, right? However, if you have a function where the exponent is a variable, right? And then, for example, like this, right? For example, if you want to find the derivative of the function, let us say 3 to the power of x, right? So we're just changing the situation. Now, how do you find this? One method, of course, is to apply this formula straight. And you know derivative of 3 to the power of x should be 3 to the power of x times ln base is 3 for you. Three. So we applied this formula and got the result. Now in this situation we could have used logarithmic differentiation. How? Let us see. Let us see that y is equals to 3 to the power of x. In that case, what is ln y? ln y will be equals to, if you take log on both the sides to the base e, it is natural log, you get x times ln 3. Now the derivative, if you take the derivative of ln y, you will get 1 over y times dy dx, I can write y prime, y dash, and here, ln 3 is a constant, right? 
so we get derivative of x is 1 right so when you do that derivative will be ln 3 now from here we can say the derivative y dash equals to y times ln 3 now y is 3 to the power of x so we get the derivative as 3 to the power of x ln 3 right as you can see the result is same right if you compare these two results they are kind of same so this formula which we got for the derivative is actually derived in that fashion right so these are the steps to get the formula so what do you notice here is that exponent is a variable or a function so when to apply logarithmic differentiation you can write in general when exponent is a function now in this particular case the base was a constant now you could have a situation where the base is also a function right so so that is the case where normally we'll apply the logarithmic differentiation for example let's take an example kind of y equals to let's take a simple example x to the power of x now how do you find y prime y dash or the derivative of this function that is key in this situation we need to take logarithms on both the sides taking normal natural logarithm is better so we'll take ln y equals to when we write ln we can write this as x times ln x right we have applied the power rule now if we take the derivative we get 1 over y y prime equals to derivative of x is 1 so we get ln x we are applying the product rule plus x times derivative of ln x which is 1 over x correct now from here we get the derivative y prime as equals to y times ln x plus x divided by x which is 1 right or you can write this as y prime equals to y which is x to the power of x within bracket ln x plus 1 right so that is how you can find derivative of such a function right? so that is one place where you can solve the question only by taking logarithms on both the sides right the other examples could be if we have a difficult question to do right so uh, there we can use derivatives let me take an example of that kind let us say that we have uh, something like uh, y equals to x over square root of x plus 1. Let us say, right? Now, this question could be solved using quotient rule. No problems. But you could also do this by taking logarithms on both the sides. Uh, see how. So we get ln y when I take logarithms on both the sides. Here, we could write this as ln x minus ln square root of x plus 1, correct? Now, this is like half to the power of this. So, I could write this as ln y equals to ln x minus half ln x plus 1. Now, if we take derivative on both the sides, what do we get? We get 1 over y, y dash equals to derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And the derivative of this function will be minus half times 1 over x plus 1 times derivative of inside function, which is 1, right? So, from here, we can write the derivative of this function as equals to y times all this which is 1 over x 
minus 1 over 2 times x plus 1. Is it okay? Now you could always simplify this part and finally write down your answer. But I just prefer to stop it here. Instead of y, I'll write down the original function, which is x over square root of x plus 1. And within brackets, we get, there is no harm, you can simplify this for the timing. I'll just write this as 2x times x plus 1. And on this side, we'll write 2x plus 2 minus x, right? And that gives you the final solution. Let me simplify and write it down for you, which is x over square root of x plus 1 within brackets. 2x minus x is x, so we get x plus 2 divided by 2x times x plus 1. Now, of course, you can also cancel these x's, right? So you get x plus 2 over x plus 1 to the power of 3 by 2. Is that okay? Uh, okay, so we could write this as equal to x plus 2 divided by 2 times x plus 1 to the power of 3 by 2, right? So that becomes the solution or the derivative of the given equation. I hope the steps are clear. But the idea here is to understand when to apply logarithmic differentiation. Now we'll take up more examples and elaborate on these steps. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.